Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use partial quotients in order to divide. Um, here I have my dividend of 5,746, and then I have my divisor of 4. I kind of put it in this hangman style thing because I'm going to start taking out parts of the quotients, and I'm going to line them up over here. So what I like to look at is how many times 4 goes into this first number, which is a 5. 4 can go into 5 one time. And then there are three digits after that five, so I'm going to put three zeros after it, so it's actually 1,000. Now I'm going to multiply this 1,000 times the four, and I'm going to write that under here, and I subtract, and I get 1,746. I'm going to start over. I divide. I look. Can four go into one? It cannot, so then I'm going to look at the first two digits, which are a one and a seven, so 17. Can four go into 17? Yes, it can go in four times. And there are two digits after the 17, so I'm gonna put two zeros after my four, so it is 400. I'm gonna multiply 400 times four, and I get 1,600. And then I subtract, and I get 146. I'm gonna start over. Can four go into one? It cannot, so I'm gonna look at 14. Can four go into 14? Yes, it can go in three times. There's one digit after the 14, so there's gonna be one zero after my three, so it's just 30. I multiply 30 times four, which is 120. I'm gonna subtract, I have 26. Start over, can four go into two? It cannot. Can four go into 26? It can, it goes in six times, there are no digits after the 26, so it is just six. And I'm gonna write six times four, which is 24. I subtract 26 minus 24, and I get two. This number is now less than this number, so that means that I am done. This is gonna be my remainder, and I need to add up all these partial quotients. So if you saw when I was writing the numbers on the side, I made sure that I lined them up by place value, so it's easier for me to add. So I get 1,436, remainder two. And as always, I can check my answer by using 1,436 times my divisor of four. And then I would use my partial products, four times six, four times 30, four times 400, and four times 1,000. And I get 24, 120, 1,600, 4,000. I add these up. I get 5,744. Then I need to add my remainder of two. And I get 5,746, which is what I started with. So that means it checks out. And that's how you do partial quotients. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks so much.